You saw in my last video how to make bone broth, that liquid gold that's just loaded with minerals. But now the question is, what do you do with all this liquid gold? Well, of course you can make good old fashioned chicken noodle soup the real way, or you can make sauces or gravies. But what I like to make is what I call mega mineral soup. And why do I call it that? Because it's loaded with minerals. Okay, check this out. Look at all these delicious green vegetables. Then we've got, of course, the liquid gold, which is this mineral broth. And then to really throw it over the top, we've got the Celtic sea salt, which is also loaded with minerals. So what you're gonna do is just take all these veggies and just throw it in your pot. And what I love about it, it's literally like a refrigerator cleanup. You just take any vegetables that are in there. You can take everything from beets to peppers to potatoes, anything really, and you just throw it in. So here we go, we're gonna put the zucchini in here. We're gonna put the onions. I always love onions. I think that they always make my soups just taste delicious. Leeks are also really, really nice, and potatoes make a nice thicker broth. And then we've got some kale here. So we literally, you can just rip it up like this. Um, no real fine cutting, which so makes it really, really easy. And then with the broccoli, I'm just gonna literally chop it up right here. And um, the key to really making the soup delicious is by doing a lot of vegetables and not a lot of broth. So we literally do like a four to one ratio of broth versus vegetables. And what that gives you is a really thick, delicious uh, soup. It literally almost tastes like a bean porridge or something, or a really thick bean soup. It's absolutely phenomenal. So here we are. Um, whoops, there goes the stem. Um, <laughs> so I think this is enough veg. So as you can see, this pot is literally full, and then we're just gonna take our homemade bone broth, which you saw how to make in my other video, and pour this in. And keep in mind, the vegetables are also gonna produce a lot of water, so you'll be fine. I know it looks like, oh my gosh, we're not gonna have enough um, liquid, but you totally will. And the thing that's great about it, you know how they say when you steam vegetables and you've got that like water underneath that absorbs all the minerals, they say, oh, be sure to drink that vegetable water. Well, I never do, it kinda tastes nasty. The thing that's so great about this is your mineral water is literally right here. And so when we blend it, you're getting all those delicious minerals um, to boot. So here I am gonna put some salt in here. And then you just put it on a medium to um, low heat and uh, let it cook. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Let's take a peek at how our soup is doing. Ooh, it looks like it's basically done. You can tell by how soft the vegetables are. And depending on how starchy the vegetables you do choose, it can vary anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes of cooking on medium heat. So what we're gonna do is blend it. Now, if you have an immersion blender, this makes your life a lot easier. Otherwise, just transfer it into your um, other blender and start pureeing. So we're just gonna start doing our thing here. And you can also play with the consistency. You know, if you want more of a veggie mash, you can leave it thicker, or if you want a thinner soup, you can continue to um, blend for a while. Okay, so we're done blending. I'm gonna pour some in a dish here. So I know it kind of looks like green machine here. In fact, Mike used to make fun of me, like, what are you eating? But now he is so hooked on this stuff. The thing that's so great about it is you are getting a powerhouse of minerals and you're powering down a lot of veggie. So um, there you have it, from roasted chicken to bone broth and now to this delicious vegetable soup. Thanks for stopping by Mama's Kitchen and we'll catch you next time.